Hello everyone and welcome to a new video. This is my comeback everyone. It's been so long. I've genuinely forgotten how to do everything. Um, I, I don't know what to say besides let's get on with the video. So in this video, we're going to do an individual reading for Sung Shan. I'm almost done with all of NCT and I kind of want to continue down that road and, you know, try to finish doing an individual reading for all of them. This journey has been going on for like, what, two years, I think? <laughs> that sounds ridiculous, honestly. But anyway, in this reading, we are going to check his current energy, his career, his love life, and any healing messages that go through. This video will be divided into four sections, technically, and yes. <laughs> yes, that's, I think that's about it. I hope you guys didn't miss me, but if you did, hello, I'm back. Now the thing is that if you guys are like, this is the first time I've come to your videos, you probably don't even know I was gone for that long. But yeah, let's jump into Sung Chan's current energy. Let's see. How is he doing right now? We have the King of Swords reverse. The Four of Wands reverse. And the Three of... Oh, that is so sad. And the Three of Pentacles reverse. I shouldn't be laughing, but... Look, I'm... Okay. I'm chuckling a little bit because this is the life of every NCT member, in my opinion. Anyway. So I think it's very obvious, but with the Four of Wands, we talk about home. We talk... We talk about like feeling stable, feeling secure. And then the Three of Pentacles talks about working with other people, collaborations. It talks about uh, people that are experts in their fields coming together to create a project and going. And usually, Pentacles talks about money, work, and all of that. So, putting those together, I guess you guys can feel that. In his current energy, he feels like he's not participating as much as he will like to. He feels like he's not in a very secure ground. He may I do feel that this has to do with uh, his career, and I do feel that that's also influencing the person that he is. Because we have the uh, King of Swords reverse, which usually talks about someone that has a clear mind, clear judgment, someone that is able to, you know, they're balanced enough that they are able to communicate what they're thinking and being able to make decisions well because their mind is um, able to work with them. So yeah, with this two card, I mean, with this three cards right here, I do feel that he is overthinking a lot of things and that's why this King of Swords is reversed. So he's probably thinking, how can I make things better for myself? How can I be in a situation where I feel more comfortable and I feel more stable? How can I put more into my career. I do feel that that's a concern of his. Usually once with the four of wands. Um, we're talking also about someone that may want to celebrate. It could be like a wedding. It could be home. Something along those lines. So I do feel that he wants to feel... He's overthinking a lot because he doesn't feel like he's in a good position within his career. I feel that that's basically what he's going through right now. But when we check the other areas of his of this reading, we might be able to see where this energy is actually concentrated in. But for now, it definitely feels like everything's kind of wonky. Everything is all over the place. He may feel like um, he's not... Like, with the Three of Pentacles, I feel that it could be a couple of things, right? That there's just not opportunities for him to um, do something within his work or his career. Or he feels like he's not skilled enough to be able to be pushed towards a more convenient place in his career. So maybe he feels like he's not a good dancer. He maybe feels he's not a good singer. Like he feels like he's just not good enough. And that's why he's not able to climb up the ladder and be successful in his career. And because of that, he feels like he's not in a very stable position. Like I do feel that out of... Um, a lot of NCT members, he is of the few that have not really, in a way, proven himself to be part of NCT. Um, whatever mess NCT is, um, I do feel that he, he's kind of like of the people that are more like in the outcast section of it, right? Like, I don't know how much he has been doing outside of like, what was he in? 90s Love? After that, 
what did he do he was like an MC or something for some time and I do feel that because he hasn't been participating in a lot of NCT stuff he may feel that his career may be in some sort of jeopardy or it's so unstable or like it it's not well defined what his role is and I do feel that he feels like he's very disposable so I do feel that in this case that's where his overthinking could come from or it could also be that he doesn't really know in what direction he should take things because once also talks about taking action and doing things so I do feel that there's a lot of confusion going around within him that makes it very difficult for him to even find a path or find a way of how he can improve his situation and that can make it even more frustrating for him um yeah he's in a position where he doesn't feel comfortable in let's just put it that way but i do feel that we're gonna get more information if we jump into his career so let's just jump into that and see what's going on there because clearly i feel this is talking about his career so let's just jump into it i don't know why flowers were I wanted to use flowers and then I was like, well, I'm going to do some chance reading. So maybe flowers could be important for him. Like, I, I don't know if he's like, if he likes flowers or not, but maybe that could be significant for him. But yeah, let's see. So what's going on with Sun Chan's career? Whoa. So there's some, I'll take them all actually, since I do feel that his career is going to be the most um, heavy. No most important maybe section of his reading oh also <laughs> a couple things these cards are cards that i got for my birthday <laughs> a gift for my sister the other ones you'll see them in another video so the cards that we have here, we have Hope with Daffodil. We have Vitality with a fig. What is this, a fruit? Yeah, it's a fruit. Then we have Emotions with Cucumbers. Memory with Rosemary. Yeah, I can already feel how much space his career is going to take. And then the other card that we have right here is Service with Garlic. So for Sung Shing's career, we have hope, vitality, emotions, and memory. Service. Mm. We have both. Okay, so funnily enough, he, the environment that he's in seems to be pretty balanced. Very slow moving as well, because there's two Taurus. Here we have Taurus and Taurus, so very slow moving energy. It's grounded, it's stable, but it's very slow, so that the fact that things are moving very slowly in his career could make it for him to feel that he's very stagnant because nothing's moving um let's see so nothing like everything's going so slow that nothing bad is happening but also nothing good is happening and that makes him be in like this limbo that overthinking will make all of that instead of him being patient that would just make it for him to feel like it's torture and like he's suffering in the sense of not knowing what's going to happen. The unknown is going to be something that will make it very difficult for him. Which is, like, I find it weird. Like, his current energy, there's a sense of not being stable. But then when we get to his career, everything seems to be pretty balanced out somehow. So, we have hope, which makes me think that life is, is trying to encourage him that things are going to get better. Um, there seems to be, like, a gentle whisper because this makes me think of like um oh, what is i don't know what those are called it's not a chandelier it's like you know those things that people hang like by their doors or something and then wind chimes i think that's what it's called <laughs> i do feel that there's this sense of like something slowly coming into play something that is softly making its way in his career like something very like change is happening it's very gentle it's very low-key and it's very slow so i don't think changes are gonna happen as quickly as he wants it to be i do feel that there's like hold on to hope and things are gonna get better also here we have an air element so i do feel that there's a sense of opportunities or communication is going to trickle down very slowly towards him so if there's higher ups thinking about doing something or there's projects going in his direction 
he's going to be the last person to hear about them and it's going to take a very very long time for him to actually see all the piece- pieces come down into play it's going to take a while for him so life is definitely encouraging him to you know stay hopeful now the other things that we have right here is water we have the water element with vitality so i do feel that life is trying to encourage him to be a little bit more since he will have to like arm himself with a lot of patience he might be encouraged to try to see things in a more positive life in order to feed himself not only patience but also a sense of understanding a sense of just trying to be positive and trying to be happy within the situation that he's in in order to feed more life within him if that makes sense so there's this sense of nurturing his emotions in a way where he can stay positive rather than dwell in this overthinking and this unstable feeling that he has been going through for a while so there's this sense like on the top so it seems like on the surface level there's this sense of trying to stay positive trying to be hopeful and trying to energize himself and fill himself himself with a lot of life in order to survive this period where things are going to be pretty slow in his career um again things are things are changing but it's very very slow um to what at least what he's things are going slow relative to how he wished wishes things would go let's put it that way um now on if we go a little bit deeper with his career we have cucumber right here with emotions so (laughs) when i think of cucumbers i think of the whole thing of like the three c's stay cool calm and collected so i feel that subconsciously he needs to do a lot of cleansing um (laughs) now i'm saying it this way and i'm kind of laughing a little bit because it's kind of like i don't think he's necessarily doing anything wrong i just think that he's in a difficult situation let's just put it that way so i do feel that with this two cards life is really encouraging him that to either reevaluate what he wants in his career or to hold on to remember and hold on to those emotions that push him to be in the idol life in the first place right but anyways when i think of cucumber i think of someone that has to kind of cleanse their energy through water so maybe if he takes a bath or he if he listens to water or rain or um, if he goes by the ocean or close to a river or something that can bring him a lot of healing and a lot of peace um, especially since he's overthinking a lot that can definitely help him calm down his emotions also the symbol that we have right here is an earth symbol so that kind of tells me that that is one way he can ground himself his emotions and being able to think of his situation in a more positive light is by trying to stay calm trying to um, see things from a fresh pair of eyes something along those lines um, right here this makes me think the imagery right here makes me think of fo- uh, polo santo how people like burn like this uh, piece of wood to kind of cleanse their energy and the environment they're in so oh and also we have the cancer sign right here so i do feel that life is kind of encouraging him to try to keep his environment clean whatever he sees as home or whatever he sees as his safe space or his safe heaven for whatever reason that's the words that kind of came up that's something that life is really encouraging him to clean and stay and keep protected and safe so that he can stay as stable and grounded as possible now the other thing that we have here is memory and here we have the fire symbol with leo and a book if he has a diary it will be a very good idea for him to look back into it and try to um not necessarily analyze but try to remember why he is in the industry in the first place what motivated him to be in it and try to uh, reconnect to that time so he can kind of bring that emotion back to life and try to uh, use that emotion and those feelings and those thoughts as a way to fuel him again to continue in this journey where he kind of has to stay still for a pretty long time um and i think all of those things are going to create this perfect balance for him to be able to be i guess of service in his career again and what i mean by being in service is like sometimes when people are overthinking or they're going through some emotional healing or doing some shadow work it does make them to be unavailable for a couple of things in their in their career and stuff like that um so i do feel that in this case it could be something similar like he's going through a process where he's getting a bit uh, frustrated annoyed or he's starting or it's starting 
I guess the silence and the stagnation that he's in could start getting to his head in such a way that now he feels like he's not skilled enough or he feels like he's not worthy enough or he's pushing himself overboard because he thinks he has to do more than than he actually has to so that creates all of these blockages that make it very hard for him to actually just work and do things and allow the energy to just flow so I do feel that when he creates this perfect balance of all the things I just said in his career then he will be able to be of service to actually do things right I also do feel that the role that he plays um, in his career though is not necessarily one that shines very brightly like sometimes he will because I'm thinking of garlic and how uh, people cook with garlic right uh, sometimes it can be very overpowering and not so pleasant when you have it in a dish but usually garlic is used in such a way that it brings a lot it enhances other flavors within a dish now I am not a cook but I'm just saying <laughs> uh, I do feel that in this case he kind of symbolizes some like the garlic here could symbolize um, the role that he will play in his career which is something a little bit more subtle um, and it's just kind of I don't <laughs> I've been playing so many games I was gonna be like his role is just to be a support okay I'm just I'm not saying that people will not see him I'm just seeing that that's where his strength lies in let's see anything else that we need to know about Sung Chan's career oh we have the star and the five of cups reverse so with the star, again, the star is a sign of hope, is a sign of dreams coming true, wishing upon a star. It's Aquarius energy as well, which I do want to point out with, we have Taurus, Taurus, Leo, and Aquarius, which are all fit signs. So whatever he puts his uh, head in, whatever his goal is, it's very hard for him to budge out of that. So if he wants to continue within this uh, environment, with the, which the, oh my god, with this career and all of that, he kind of needs to stay very strong because it's going to be a very slow process. His dreams will come true and things are going to get better. There's going to be, you know, there's a silver lining here. Things will get better. Things are going to work out eventually. But he kind of has to work on this pessimistic mentality that he has with his Five of Cups. Uh, with his Five of Cups reverse, it kind of shows that he needs to, when something, just because things are not going his way at the time that he wants, he kind of needs to, <laughs> in a way, get over that. I do feel that there's this sense of he needs to stay positive so time so time, it feels like time is going faster like that could definitely help him um also he needs to kind of prioritize when he should actually feel sad about things and when he doesn't even have to bother about it um because this five of cups reverse kind of feels like there's this there's this sense of trying not to cry over like spilled milk right like try not to take things too personally or try not to feel sad about a situation that is out of his control it's out of his control he should just allow it to kind of move freely now i'm not one to speak but that is what is in the cards <laughs> anyway so let's go on to the next section of his reading which is his love life what is going on with sunshine's love life we have grape with abundance that's good and then let's see. Oh. And then we have Bearberry with strength. Abundance and strength. So okay, so with abundance, I was getting that in his love life. They could there could be like a lot of opportunities or a lot of people that are going <laughs> going after his bones. That is a strange way of saying it. But yeah, a lot of people, I don't know how, how do you say that in English? I guess there's a lot of people uh, that want to be with him or a lot of people that, okay, I'm getting a couple of things. Romantically, he could have a lot of options. Now, I'm not saying that he sees those people as options, but there's a lot of people that want to be with him. Now, the other part about this love section is that I don't always get romantic stuff. So I do feel that with the abundance, there's a lot of people that care about him and want him to succeed because we have Sagittarius energy so I think of Jupiter right away so I do feel that a lot of people um, are praying for his success or praying and you know it's a very loving energy of like like I guess like showering him or covering him or like a blanket of warmth going his way so there's a lot of people that are wishing him well and want him to succeed and do well in life um, so I don't think so 
this energy it, it, I guess it could be the fans but I'm thinking family friends or people surrounding him that are wishing for him to do well in life so that's another type of love this is a I guess very platonic way of seeing it as well and I think that type of energy is something that gives him a lot of strength or um, I don't know how aware he is of this or not right uh, he might be um, like if it's family I'm pretty sure um, they tell him to stay strong and things will get better now with this pendant I do feel that uh, here with the grapes he could have some sort of jewelry a pendant from that was given to him by family or by friends I do feel that this is someone that's very close to him that gives him a lot of strength I don't know if he has ever talked about it or shown it or any of that but I do feel that he could have some sort of um, emblem is that a I don't know if I'm using that word correctly, but something that physically symbolizes the support and love that people have for him. This is someone that has brought him a lot of, someone that has brought in his mind. This is someone that um, symbolizes positivity, someone that symbolizes a sense of wonder and adventure and expansion, right? I'm thinking of Sagittarius energy. So someone that's optimistic, someone that is ready to just take action and move forward, someone that is not afraid of change. Um, I do feel that this is someone that emotionally is very influential. Oh look, I have a fly on my hand. I don't know if you see it. I do feel that this is someone that brings a lot of positivity within him and that's the strength that he has from that. Uh, strength, something that gives him emotional strength, something that gives him a lot of positivity and clears his mind in order to see things in a more positive light. And here we have green and red, so those colors make me, make me think of the root chakra and the heart chakra. So there's a sense of emotional harmony and balance as well as being stable and grounded, right? That is the combination of the heart chakra and the root chakra. Now let's see more details about his love life. But yeah, I thought, yeah, we have the wheel and the sits of swords, yeah. So... In his, he's so loved and so cared for that he is able to be he's able to like walk away from situations that don't work for him or he's able to walk away from a mentality of negativity and from a mentality that is not necessarily toxic but is like if there's something if there's ever a conflict or an issue he's able to walk away from it because there's people that love him and support him and kind of encourage him to walk away from the situations and that brings him a lot of luck, a lot of abundance, a lot of good things. Because, I mean, here with the Wheel of Fortune, we're talking about uh, things going in his favor. Things, you know, things are finally moving. And it's in a way that brings him a lot of positivity. So I think in his love life, everything is okay. Everything's good. Everything's happy. It actually brings him a lot of reassurance, a lot of good things. Um, I don't... I started with romantic things. I do feel there's a lot of options for him out there, but I don't know how if he's even entertaining these options or if he's even looking at them. Um, but I do feel that there is a lot of people that care about him and want him to do very well in life, and that in return brings him to be in a state where he can think positively. He can um, try to move forward towards change that brings him a lot of good things and brings him a lot of success like I don't necessarily think it translates into his career because that's where he's struggling a lot but it definitely brings him at least to be in a mental state where he or an emotional state where he feels a little bit safer and stable if that makes sense so he has like in a way a support group now let's see any healing messages that have to come through for him So we have the Owl Spirit Reverse with you see clearly now, which <laughs> clearly being reversed kind of shows that there's still a lot of things that he can't see. Now, I do feel that he can't see them, not because of him, as much as it's just not time for him to see what the situation that he's in. I do feel that not a lot of things are set in stone and that could be the reason as to why he may be very confused or he may feel like, again, this stagnation that he feels is simply because things are probably not set in stone or he how should I say, things are not in a place where he can finally take action and get things moving. He's in a situation where um, 
there's a lot of moving pieces and a lot of things outside of his control so he shouldn't even worry about those things and that's why um he's not able to see things clearly because there's still a lot of things that uh, he doesn't even need to know about because he doesn't even have to worry about them a lot of those things are outside of his control but if he knew about them then he could get even more frustrated um so it definitely feels like life right now is telling him that if there's something you don't know it's for a reason so don't even worry about it try to not overthink it try not to be pessimistic about it there's no point in dwelling on those things the other card that he had was a swan spirit with time for a deep dive i do feel that life may be encouraging him to actually look deep within him and try to either connect more with them he did get two birds so i do feel there's this sense of encouraging him to be um free or encourage him to dig deeper so like that he's able to kind of come into terms with himself what it is that he wants out of life what is it is that he desires out of life as well and also try to blossom as a person so maybe life wants him to do a little bit more shadow work um not necessarily because that will directly impact the success of his career which is the thing that he seems to be concerned about but more so like that he has a little bit more of a peace of mind when he's doing his own thing and he can just continue in a more harmonious way with his life i do feel that this is more um of something that will benefit him as a person rather than i guess the only thing that the way that it can impact his environment or the life that he's living is just the way that he sees things. By going deep within him, he's able to, he might be able to come to terms with what's in his power and what's not in his power. And that will give him the reassurance or the knowledge that he needs to not put too much pressure on himself. Now let's go on to the last card. The last healing message for Sung Chan is... We have the frog spirit with clear out the clutter. So I do feel that this overthinking that he may have had could have pushed him to feel that there, he's putting a lot of pressure on himself in such a way that it's creating an environment that is not very helpful for him within himself as a person and also his immediate surroundings. So the way that he views things is the immediate surroundings I'm talking about. So with this frog spirit um, upright, and with clear out the clutter it definitely feels that the shadow work that he does will allow him to finally see what's within his power and what's not within his power what can he do and what he has to let go of and kind of just allow life to do its thing there i do feel this could be a little bit difficult for him because based on the cards that he has right here he strikes me as someone that likes to just take action and just do things <laughs> and see things moving so i do feel that having to stay quiet and look deep within himself is something that could frustrate him a little bit because that's a that could be out of his element i do feel that it might be bizarre and a bit strange to clean himself from the inside out but that seems to be the advice for him in order to see everything from like a different perspective so like that he's able to be a little bit more patient with himself and the environment he's in as well as in the situation that he's in because he's going to need a lot of that um, because his dreams are coming true but they're going at a snail pace um, and that could be very frustrating for him because he could think that this stagnation is because he's not doing well enough when in reality is just things have not placed themselves correctly you know or ideally for him to um finally see those results come out if that makes sense anyway this is the reading for sung chan this is his individual reading i am kind of excited that i was able to go through with it it's been so long it's been months since i recorded a video and i am pretty happy that um we're at the end of this one it, it's kind of like a sign that i was able to come back to this and just do things again i don't know it was kind of scary to come back um with doing the whole process from recording to publishing all of that process is lengthy <laughs> anyway i'll leave that there i hope you guys like this video i hope you guys enjoyed it and i'll see you in the next one whenever that is however that is and yeah expect the rest of nct see you all on the next one bye